A few weeks ago, when I bought my BRS little mini camp stove for my backpacking stuff, I bought something else that most ultralight fruit hackers are not going to use, and I'll get into that later. But this is the Emberlit Fire Ant Firebox. The one I bought is the titanium version, so it's three ounces, and they have a stainless steel one that's a little heavier. And that's not including the little envelope. But basically what you have are three walls. And then this is the end that you feed it from. And you can see the little ember lit emblem there. And this is where you'll feed the wood in. And that's a vent. And it's well vented on the bottom and the top. And I'll show you that when I get it together. And this little plate has three tabs. And that'll be the bottom. And this is where the fire will set. There's one more piece that came with this that would sit up at the top, and that's for alcohol burners, and since I have no interest in that, uh, I didn't bring it with me. You see the little notches at the top and the bottom? Those interlock with the other pieces. So I usually put three sides together. like that and then I put connect it on one side here and I put the base part in and it'll set in the little grooves I'll show you that when I get it put together and the last little part is tricky but once you've done it a few times, it's pretty easy. There you go. So here we are. We're all put together. And it's basically just a miniature rocket stove, if you know what that is. And rocket stove, the concept is is the way that it's designed it's a little bigger at the base than the top and it forces all of the air and the heat out the top and it burns whatever you're burning at a really rapid pace and it gets really hot really quick and you can see just all of the ventilation around the sides there's the tabs from the base i was talking about sticking out for those slots it only has free tabs and you can turn it whichever free slots you want it to come out. I don't think that that really matters. So one of the coolest things to me about this whole thing is how much it takes to burn and just a few little limbs, basically less than what you would use to kindle a campfire. You can uh, do what you need to do and boil a pot of water and cook whatever your trail food is that day, whether it's ramen noodles or whatever so see what I've got here that's way more than I'll use so that's pretty cool
So I'm basically, I just lit it and I haven't put much more than the kindling in there. I'm just going to let all this stuff burn on the top until I can set the pot on top. But you can see how that air is just forcing that flame up and just concentrating all the heat right here. So while I'm waiting on that to burn down, we'll grab the pot and get ready to start cooking. Said this is all I'm doing here is kind of something you might do on the trail. Just quick boil the water, dump your soup, ramen in, or whatever. This is some kind of a seaweed soup. Uh, one, one package of this is like a hundred percent of your daily intake of sodium, so <laughs> pretty good, but it tastes really good. It's probably not good for you. Okay, so I've got my soup warm. It's basically just broth, so I'm gonna drink it. But that's the Emberlit Fire Ant, little fire box. Now it is little, and they have larger versions of this. Different companies make it. Emberlit makes some bigger ones. And there's some real good uh, videos out there on YouTube of people cooking gourmet meals with the bigger ones. And I just wanted to show you the simple ins and outs of this video. I plan on doing a lot more videos and seeing how far I can push this thing. Uh, I like it because it's so little. And the reason that I got the fire ant instead of the normal ones is because of the weight. Uh, like I said, I don't know. Most ultralight backpackers wouldn't have anything like this. It's three ounces and that's to those guys that's a lot of weight. I'm still on the fence of whether I would use this in a proof hack, but I'm going to keep playing with it. Uh, I don't regret buying it. I like how small the footprint is and, you know, how fast you can have a fire built and be done with the fire as opposed to having, you know, a big campfire and having to wait on the coals to go out or take and put it out with a lot of water or something and water may not be available. So, yeah. Emberlit fire ant, neat little stove, and I'm going to do a lot more videos on this, just showing you guys what all it can do. I don't know what all I can do with it yet, but I think it's pretty neat. It was a little pricey. If you had went with the stainless version and you weren't worried about the weight, uh, you could have saved quite a bit of money on it that way. Uh, anyway, y'all be good. I'll see you later. Bye.